Hi guys, it's uh, Jackie M from Masters of Malaysian Cuisine with uh, Malaysian Ingredients Made Easy. Now in this particular series, I go through different types of popular Malaysian ingredients you can find here in Australia and I'll give you suggestions and ideas on how to incorporate them into your food preparation and your recipes. And now this particular series is done in partnership with the Malaysian Agriculture Office here in Sydney, Australia and they supply me with the products and I evaluate and talk about them. Now, some of these suggestions that I'm going to bring up are actually courtesy of not just yours truly, but also from my Masters of Malaysian Cuisine chefs and also more broadly from my community of Malaysian food lovers as well here. Okay, so in this particular video, we are talking about uh, what I loosely call chili condiments. Okay, now I know they can be a little bit confusing because they're labeled a little bit differently and you know, they all look the same, but can you use them interchangeably? Are they all the same in fact, okay? So what I've got here, uh, I find that there, there's a broad range that's labeled crispy, okay, whether it's crispy dried shrimp, crispy prawn, crispy um, prawn in, in chili and whatever, those are essentially the same thing. And then I've got another broad category that's usually labeled sambal okay so are sambals and these crispy uh chili things the same thing um they, they you know, and how are they the same they are actually uh, they do have different characteristics but they do share some similarities as well okay so first of all the similarities they all contain chili they all contain um garlic and onion mostly and they contain sugar and also they contain either dried shrimp or balachan in them okay so how do they taste now the crispy variety tend to be more savory and also because they're crispy they're loose okay they're loose in oil whereas the sambals tend to be like a sauce um so they're all spicy but they all um the, the sambals tend to be sweeter and also the sambals tend to contain tamarind as well which is a souring agent which gives it that kind of nice sweet and sour note right and remember they're saucy but can you use them mix and match okay um, with a lot of recipes you can actually do that so i'm going to go through a list of suggestions and i'm going to talk a little bit more on how to actually treat these different products okay so first of all, uh, you can use it in nasi goreng. My master of Malaysian cuisine chef Bob Atnin from Chef Bob Cooking actually loves to use the crispy prawn in his nasi goreng, Malay fried rice, when he cooks for his family. So what he does is after he's got the rice and the proteins and all that, right, he adds some spoonfuls of crispy prawn into his fried rice. His kids love it. And what you want to do though, because they're crispy and loose, right, uh, it's a good idea to actually crack some eggs into your fried rice. And the egg, because of its nature, will act as a binding agent to bind the, uh, the, the, the crispy bits to your rice and to the rest of your dish, okay? So that's how I would use them. Now, uh, can you add sambal to fried rice? Sure you can, right? But with any kind of fried rice, I tend to tell people to be very restrained in how much sauce they add all at once into their fried rice because you don't want to turn them into a gluggy mess. And because these are saucy and they're like a paste sort of thing, you want to add it in small amounts, mix it through, let it uh, absorb into the rice and then add some more, okay? But yeah, essentially you can use them the same way. So another way to use it is as a noodle topping, especially with the crispy variety, right? You can uh, sp spoon some on top of your noodles or have it served on the side with your noodle or rice dish or something like that and use it as a dip. You can do that with the sambals as well. The sambals, like I said, are saucy, so they're easier to dip. Um, these, you will need to spoon it because they're loose, okay? But it depends on how you use it. You can stir it into your food and then, you know, just give it that extra shrimpy, spicy lift, okay? Now, uh, you can also use it in stir fries. I like to use the sambal in my kangkung, right? I, I, I love eating kangkung belacan, but I don't always have the time to prepare the dried shrimp and the belacan and the chili sambal from scratch. Um, so if you're in a hurry, you can add you can use a combination of both, right? You can use the crispy bit and then throw in some sambal as a binding agent to help bind the flavors when you cook your next batch of kangkung belacan, okay? You can also use it as a sandwich spread. And this actually is a popular idea that was suggested by my um, overseas fellow overseas Malaysians who have fond memories of eating sambal dried shrimp sandwiches growing up in Malaysia, right? So again, if you can't get a hold of dried shrimp or you like 
uh, you don't have the time to prepare your own dry shrimp sambal just a healthy, healthy, uh, generous spread of the crispy dried shrimp on your next batch of egg sandwiches or something like that will bring back memories of growing up in Malaysia. Um, now, you can um, toss it through your pasta, okay? Now, uh, Italians are going to hate me for this, but this was actually suggested by my fellow Malaysians, so I'm just the messenger here, but apparently it works great but tossing it through different types of pasta to give it that extra shrimpy spicy boost. Now, uh, you can also use it as a canapé spread. My master of Malaysian cuisine chef, Zaleha Open, that rendang lady, she does a lot of catering, she does a lot of parties, functions, and she does a lot of canapés, and this uh, crispy dried shrimp chili spread uh, is a secret ingredient, okay? So have a go next time you need to uh, do some canapés for a party. Now, uh, my MOMC at heart chef, Liam Ghani from the Muddled Pantry, he actually likes to add the crispy shrimp into his prawn noodle soup, okay? So if you know how to make prawn noodle soup, it's basically prawn shell stock, right? And then you serve it with noodles. And if you want the extra shrimpy boost, you can add some of the crispy dried shrimp in there, but you can also add the sambal as well, okay? Because it's going into soup, it's all getting mixed up anyway and it will just give it that extra shrimpy spicy boost to your next bowl of prawn noodles. Um, now, I like to actually, uh, I like seafood a lot and you can use the sambal in baked sambal seafood, okay? You can use it um, just poured over some seafood and then you bake it in the oven or on your barbecue grill or you can just use it as a, a basting sauce on your next time you grill fish on the barbecue or something like that, okay? So turn it into a Malaysian ikan bakar, instant ikan bakar sauce, okay? Now, uh, the other way to use it is uh, one of my favorites on grilled eggplant, okay? Eggplant is one of my favorite vegetables. Just brush the eggplant slices with some oil, grill them till they're cooked, and then just use a jar of uh, sambal, preferably one that's sweeter, because uh, I like the contrast in flavors, and just spoon it over your grilled eggplant and it will taste beautiful, I promise you. And of course, you can use the nasi lemak sambal or whatever sambal on your nasi lemak, okay? So have a look for sambals, like I said, you know, uh, you know, the sweeter varieties will work great. Uh, next time you do nasi lemak and you don't have time to cook the sambal sauce from scratch, just spoon it straight out of the jar with, um, you know, using the sambal variety, okay? And also, another way to use it, finally, is as a salad dressing or add it to your salad dressing. So um, next time you want to make some salad, whether you're using a mayo-based dressing or whether you're using a vinaigrette-based dressing, you know, just add some of these, either the sambal or the crispy shrimp, and give it a shake and pour it over your salad to give it that Malaysian spicy, shrimpy touch, okay? So these are some suggestions. If you've got any ideas at all that I haven't covered, make sure you let me know. I do have other ideas and also some recipes to send through to you. Just make sure you sign up on the, via the link on the next screen and I'll be uh, sending it to you via email. I'll see you in my next video.